colors of stockings today. Very cute. Dressed up. Why do you get all dressed up, cutie? No, I'm getting dressed up. Yeah, you put all the jewelry on and all those kind of things. It's just cute. He's always dressing up. I know. Yeah. He puts on multiple colored stockings. He puts on a pretty dress, lots of earrings and jewelry. Yeah. Why? Does it feel nice? I never did about it. You went to the it? I just put it on. Okay. They go now. That's cutie. They go now. That's cutie. Now. It's really funny. This is like the fourth day in a row that we're going to get these bowls. And they're just so good. They're so satisfying and they're really close to the house. 
Um, so it's it's very easy to have them, and they're not expensive too, which is great. really good smoothie it's protein with berries oh. and stuff and what, what does that have in it beets apples ginger um, and some other um, red thing it's like the fourth time having this it's it's yogurt it's like fresh natural yogurt with uh, granola and a bunch of fruit mm -hmm. yeah. and this is like amazing
special. Kiss me. Kiss me. I feel so privileged. sounding like two hours of music. I, uh, that's what I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to find somebody who could actually, I never thought we'd meet anybody who was actually open to and able to make make us sound really, we'll just have a microphone that sounded, that we were inspired to sing with, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. so, so cool. But, just, just that alone. Not, not, not only yeah. recording, but giving us something that was fun to improvise with. And oh, it's just, it's so stimulating. It's, if, if we do come back to the Bay Area, I feel like that would be the only reason we'd come back is just to do something with you. Because, oh, yeah, I really feel like the whole trip of what we went through and uh, playing in that tunnel five days a week and suffering through all that stuff is. One of the big shining things is meeting you and having those experiences we had. And so I'm, I'm just so grateful that I'm so grateful that you're still in our life, even though we're not physically there. Yeah, and you're always, always on our minds. I love, I love everything about, about the two of you. Um, it's always a good time. Yeah, I know. I love everything about, about the two of you. The energy you bring and the music you make. Mark, thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. You inspire us too. I'm so excited to hear your new EP too. That's going to be fun. When did we record them? Like it, uh, like July at the end of July or something? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. January. Somebody. Yeah. It's cool. There's no rush. Yeah. So two, two of them are yeah, like little jams, and then the, the last one that's on there, which I'm like back and forth about whether I'm actually gonna use it or not, um, is is basically the first song, and then I reversed it. <gasps> so I reversed the entire thing. <gasps> Backwards. 
and it was so fun when we got to like sync with your music because I'd listened I'd listened to your EP once that's when I first uh like actually went ooh oh this is actually a person who's really talented and and has a beautiful voice I listened to your EP you know like a few summers ago and uh and I you know I memorized things very quickly so I memorized yeah and so when you were singing, I'm like, ooh, because that's, that's how I got with Thoth, is I just started harmonizing with his music because I already knew it. And, and it's yeah. so fun. It's so fun. Awesome. Yeah, I'm super honored. And that was, yeah, that was a blast. I'm like, yeah, it was so fun. I'm so more glad. <laughs> yeah, more of that, please. I'm just so we're happy that, good. yeah, more of everything. It's all possible. It's, it's we're, all just, possible. we're just really in this space of wanting to explore the world and see what's going on. Yeah. And, and there are probably ways that we can do it I don't know. I mean, we maybe if we got some microphones, and I don't. I don't think Thoth really wants to focus on recording us himself or us doing it ourselves. But uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, if you're edited and you just want to send me like, even if it's just like, you know, some videos of, that you about something that you felt really good about me, you know, tampering with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm happy to just take sort of like a whatever audio might, might be there. Okay. And, uh, see what I can do with it. Well, the audios off my camera is, is pretty, pretty good. It's, I don't, it's not like surround sound and all that fancy uh -huh. shit, but, yeah. but it is, it's fine. Um, we yeah. used to have microphones. My dad sent me microphones a long, a while ago, and we were trying to record ourselves for a bit, but it was, we left them back at John's house. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's 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 so it's such an honor, and we love it's just so sweet. And thank you for including yes. us in everything. And uh, we love you, Nate. You're just you're so yeah, you're so too. special in our lives. I'm so happy that we know you. Yeah, yeah. One kind of logistical thing that I want to figure out, and it's we're not quite there yet, but is you know this whole this whole EP is basically collaborations with different people that um, I've met in the day or mm -hmm. in my life. And um, I'm trying to figure out how to, you know, make sure that all the like royalties and everything are like because <laughs> the thing that we work. Uh -huh. So um, yeah, at some point we'll have to figure out how to make sure that you get paid from any streaming or licensing stuff that comes up. Any of the big payments that came in, like if it was if something got put on a, you know, movie or something like that. Um, Do you? actually get paid through these platforms at all? Yeah. I mean, it's not a lot, you know, it'll be yeah. like maybe a couple hundred bucks a year. Well, that's, well. But, that's nice. But that's nice. it's something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. How do you, how do you keep, I don't understand how you keep going with this stuff. I mean, I know you have support and I know you have yeah. like fans and people that love you, but how, how do you just keep making stuff every day and don't you get discouraged? Um, I feel like I have enough enough conversations with people to um, you know feel like even if I'm making this for that one person, or even if honestly, even though I'm just making it for myself because I am constantly curious and I constantly have ideas about sounds I want to explore, and things I want to try. And yeah, yeah. I think that a lot of like setting things up for sort of unpredictability is really exciting to me a lot of times. Yeah. So like. You know, jumping in the deep end with like a new instrument or being like, how can I make, how can I get out of the box with how I would normally write a song? Or, you know, I got really into like recently kind of like trying to do more like alternate tuning. So I'm like, it works. And I'll pick up a guitar. I don't really know how it works anymore. Um, and then you find really interesting chord voicings and, you know, ways to get sounds that are unpredictable. Oh, wow. <laughs> Harmonies that you're like, ooh, that's, that's really 
was really funny when I watched you, uh, when, when we were like not recording, you would be fooling around with that instrument and you did some really cool shit with it, just playing or, and you were just having so much fun. It was so fun to watch yeah. you have fun with it, you know? Yeah. And you were just. Yeah, that instrument's really exciting to me because it's, you know, so new and I don't really know how it entirely works so far. I'm learning my way around it, but yeah. I almost, you know, I, I feel like it's also like one of those things, like it has so many options of ways you can route the signal and do these weird things that it actually makes it pretty, pretty limitless in a lot of ways mm -hmm. for, you know, unpredictability. There's a lot of interesting ways to just generate, generate sounds that you have no control over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a really, it's a really cool instrument. It's very, it's very fun to play with. Very fun to play yeah. with. Yeah, it's that idea of like you know trying to maintain the the child's mind a little bit, the, the mm -hmm. playful energy of something, and that that to me is endlessly inspiring because it's like, I mean, for one thing, I feel like there's so much I can learn. You know, and I don't, I get very fascinated by different genres of music and different artists, and I go down the rabbit hole of trying to see how they do things or what's their approach to writing a song and then sometimes you can pick up like oh maybe I'll try that that technique or maybe I'll try to play this instrument through this weird pedal that I saw this person use or I don't know it's just you know it's just I feel like the the amount of things to explore is so exciting and I just always like learning so that's that's the thing that inspires me most I think I and, see that it makes me not get discouraged because I'm like even if even if money is not really working out, there's always more to explore creatively, and that, you know, that feels like purpose and meaning enough to keep doing something. Well, it makes perfect sense to me. When I when I get into that headspace, and I'm really just focused on doing things for myself, and focusing on sure. exploring and learning and growing for myself, and it have, having yeah. nothing to do with anybody else, it's that's where I'm in my happy place, you know. Totally. Yeah. Um, and also leading into things and sort of like remember, like taking time to remember, especially when you when you are in that place of like, why am I doing this? Nobody cares. Mm -hmm. Nothing matters. Which we all get into. You yeah. Know, I think there's there's a moment where you can go like, all right, but what, what about if you can get in the habit of sort of going like, what about that one conversation I had that one time? What about that one experience where I played that song at that show and you know that one person started weeping or you know. Uh, just any of those little those little things or that message that somebody said or you know or us having this conversation and me saying how much I love you all <laughs> you know Yay. all well, these little things that are external but also make you go like oh well I mean that's a good reason to keep doing this because it obviously isn't just for us because it resonates with a lot of other people so yeah yeah you're absolutely you know, right you I... be meaningful and <clears throat> you know what I mean yeah and I can absolutely forget sometimes because Especially these days, we're not going out in public and doing the same thing we used to do. We're more focused on our own creative growth, you know, in the house, working on music or drawing or something. And I'm definitely learning how to do things. I feel like I always have done things for myself, definitely yeah. more, than, more than most people. But in a way, I've kind of kind of done like realized i've kind of been doing things because i wanted to be liked or i wanted people to like us and like help sustain us by giving us money and uh whereas now it's different and so i'm really able to focus on my own joy and i can still i can feel guilty about it and go like well no i should be focusing on other things shouldn't i and um so yeah, it's, it can be a little bit challenging. These days I'm doing good, but some days I can... Uh, I was sick for like two and a half weeks and not able to sing, um, which in the past would just drive me to complete despair and cause me yeah. to question everything I was doing. And mm. I'm really lucky now that I'm that doesn't have to happen. I can just rest and get better. Uh, but it... Yeah, it's, it's hard sometimes to remember... Um, just you know what I mean. Just like remember what yeah. what we're doing it for, and right. Right. refocus on what the what the true what the true focus of what we're doing is. Like why we're doing it. You know, we're not we're not doing it for outward validation or money. We're doing it for because we really love doing it. And we're curious and we want to learn and grow. And I love that about you, Nate, because I see that in you, and it's so it's very inspiring that you just 
inwardly driven to learn and grow and I just I love that it's it's very yeah. inspiring to me thing I uh, recently realized about um, you know there are times in which you of course you wish for fame and success and and recognition and all that and and recently I've been researching that whole world and what happens to people when they become that that kind of iconic famous musician type being and how people actually don't want you to change they get upset when you change and I it's just helping me to really understand that it's good for me to be, uh, for us to be in the position we're in where we're kind of, kind of anonymous still and kind of pretty unknown. Because we have the freedom to just evolve and change as we want to. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. It's, it's really, it's way more important than uh, fame and uh, adulation to just be able to grow and evolve all the time. Because when you're, when you're a creative person, you're just always going to change. You're, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, well, I, yeah. it's so good to talk to you, and uh, yeah, likewise. Yeah, I can't wait to hear this all this music. It's very exciting. Yeah, I'll send you the two. There's like two different links that have one is like files on Google Drive, and the other one is the SoundCloud thing. So okay. Hopefully, one of them works, but uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks for talking. What is it that he's sending? He's sending uh, the EP that he has. That he's releasing soon and all of the files that like the hundred files of music that we recorded with him my mother my mother died and and it kind of fits in with that piece that i oh his his mother passed away in the last couple weeks oh. he's doing good he's he's yeah. doing this guy is very pretty We're strange. Will you hold this for you, me? You stay, you stay to Playa or you for, for a little bit? Okay. We are traveling permanently. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you, but you're so sweet. We found out that that life in a, in motion is our favorite way of living. No. I love this one. Look My fingers in front of the lens. Look, she did it. She did it. She did it. Yeah. Thank you. Hola. Such a sweet doggy. So the hand comes out. So he's the um, he's the pure breed uh, Chihuahua, right? I wonder why dogs do that. Why they kiss their face? Their thing. Oh look at it! It's doggy stuff. So. They do do that. So how much of this? What's happening right now? Because I'm. It's time to eat. The so girl could be doing this for the rest of the night.
It seems like this really? is. Yeah. It's just a. Uh, Bye, sweetie. do this in every country we go to. Yeah. Meow meow. Meow meow face. 